Welcome back to Gin Reviews of Middle Tennessee. As always, I'm your host, the man. That's that's who I am. <laughs> Joe. Uh, so, we're going to go back to Colorado because in the last review, we did this uh, beautiful uh, grapefruit and rose flavored gin at 47%. And the base spirit was, and is, oops, right here. This guy right here that I've been sitting on for for quite a while. Um, and I just, tonight's the night. We're gonna do this. We're gonna open this little bastard up right here and uh, do the whole nine yards on what we do here on this channel. Okay, so, uh, so all the Boulder gin, which comes from Vapor uh, Spirits. Uh, wait, I'm gonna get that right. I'm gonna make sure. Vapor Distillery in Boulder, Colorado. Uh, so here is the bottle. This is a new Western gin and a new Western gin. Uh, basically, it's not a legal, legal definition of what a, a gin is, but the people who um, made aviation, this here before Ryan Reynolds, Reynolds uh, bought the company and all that, uh, they came up with the term New Western Style. And they didn't mean to put the word Western in there because it's not, uh, it could be made anywhere in, in the world actually, and it is. Um, it's the, it's where the juniper is there, but it's not the uh, forefront. It is more there, you'll notice it, but it's not as like direct as a London Dry would be, so. That's basically what New Western means, which is right there. And here's the uh, bottle. Uh, the uh, mountains, as you can see, the Boulder Mountains are right there. And then we go around. Look at that little flag of Colorado there. It looks like the Cubs pennant, almost. And we can go around. My head will be inside the bottle. Ah! <laughs> Anywho. Uh, this little guy here retails for, uh, I've seen it for $24 up to about $28, $29, and then, uh, and then $30, so, uh, which isn't, I guess, too bad. I mean, we'll see how that is, though. We don't know yet if this is any good. So, let me, um, let me get a little, uh, insight here to what I found on, online. Boulder Gin. The highest awarded gin from Colorado, including a gold medal, medal, <laughs> medal, medal at the 2017 World Gin Awards for Best American Contemporary Gin. Our gin has been at the forefront of the gin revival for over a decade, created with uh, or from a combination of 11 organic botanicals, including chamomile, hibiscus, star anise, angelica root, orris root. Uh, sen sencha green tea and of course juniper we've aimed for balance we hope you enjoy the roots of the company uh, and then it says a little thing on this it's an incredibly bright and balanced spirit that has just enough juniper to let you know it's a gin let's hope that's true because we're going to pop this guy open here and there's definitely a cork in there so uh, let's see what we got all right, all right, no squeak, but breaking of the seal is always a good sound. <laughs> Ready? Oh, <laughs> that was so pathetic. Can we can we try to maybe recreate that, like, but not the same noise, and maybe get a pop out of it? Here, let's see. Let me put these stickers up a little bit. Maybe that's what it was. No. It's just Boulder. You're disappointing me already here with this. I don't like this. Your cork is not fitting in there properly. I hope someone didn't in in some store somewhere like repackage this and put water in the bottle. Or worse, like strychnine. No, no, I don't know. Who knows? We'll know in a few seconds, won't we? Alright, so uh this guy here we'll use let's use this. This little shoddy guy tonight. All right, there's our shot. Let's 
Let's see where we're at. Hmm. It's very, um, it's very clean. It's very smooth uh, smelling. Um, I know that's a weird word to use for smelling on the nose, but it's, it's faintly, there's a faint whisper of botanicals I mean but but very light though it's so it's hard to pick out anything except the juniper I mean I could smell the juniper hmm you know uh, for the base spirit the base of the spirit I you know I haven't found that and I don't know oh it says oh sorry it's right there your next word 100% grain neutral spirit okay all right well I'm just gonna go ahead and down this because let's hope there's some taste to it other than this faint wisps of smell. Seven, just like this guy. It's very, it's 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 slow, but when it hits, you know it. Okay, so uh, there's a million things going on here. The citrus. Wow, you know, there is no citrus used in this, but it, but but I'm guessing the botanicals, maybe the sencha, the green tea. I don't know. I definitely have that taste of, of like a green tea but there's like phantom citrus here I mean like I could swear there there was lemon in this or yeah like lemon peel that's the only that's what I taste very strange um okay so again it's smooth like I thought it would be with the smell but it is definitely a smooth very very drinkable neat um Actually, I could see myself having uh, just this in a in a glass, maybe with some ice, uh, and maybe uh, an orange uh, ribbon. Yeah, I could see that. Just sipping on it. It's a sipping gin. That's exactly what this is. I like that a lot. Um, okay, so I mean, the the botanicals. There's definitely a floralness to it. Um, the hibiscus in there, the the, the chamomile. Those are very very. Uh, two very popular botanicals to use to get the floral scent and smell or taste i'm sorry um the smell of things really drives me crazy uh then the angelica and the orris are both your your earthy floral meat and potatoes of it i'm guessing or i'm saying here because the scented green tea is throwing me for a loop i definitely taste that green tea um, it's not throwing me for, for a loop. What I'm saying is I think that's where the phantom um, lemon is from. I mean, because I really taste citrus here, and I can't believe there's no citrus in this. Um, all right, well, hey, you know what? Let's do what we do and tonic her up. So let's see. I got some ice here. Yeah, I just don't want any water. I don't think it melted yet because I used this tonight. Good idea, huh? Yeah, you know. All right, well, we're gonna use this guy though for our uh, G and T. And like always, I like to go a little heavy on the gin when I'm doing a gin and tonic, just because you know I'm at this stage. No, <laughs> I just think it tastes better. A good, better way to, to uh, get all the flavor out of it. Gotta go heavier on the gin. I mean, you want to taste the gin, you gotta put more in. That should be the uh, saying, motto, and everything else to the, uh, us gin drinkers out here. All right, so of course, fever tree. And we're gonna add a bastule gin and ice, and watch the effervescent dance, if you will. Oh, I love the little bubble dance. Well, let's see how this is without any citrus as of yet. I got a feeling it's gonna come through though, the phantom. 
Mm. Okay. Wow. Okay, so before I even took that sip, that breath I took in, I could smell the tea again. It's, it's very strong and it's 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 nice though. It's very nice. I've had a few uh, gins that had tea, black tea, green tea, and some of them were just really not good, um, but others were fantastic. I mean, I would say, yeah, it's tea is the way to go about this. Like, Bee Feeder 24, uh, I have never done a Bee Feeder yet, huh? It's funny, because I drink a lot of Bee Feeder. <laughs> a lot of Bee Feeder. Um, yeah, we'll do that one day. I'll have to do a Bee Feeder review, because uh, there's many products out there, and I have probably three or four different varieties so back to this though mm. okay so the tonic it's bringing more citrus flavor out but it's also including the hibiscus the star anise the chamomile it's all there i can taste everything now it's so prominent it's so strong it's but it is smooth at the same time. It's a very good gin and tonic on its own. You don't really need any citrus in this. Um, not for me, but for people that maybe want to dial down the citrus and want to just have just gin and tonic with nothing else in it. I mean, there are people out there that do that. I don't know why, but you can do that with this and you'd be fine. All right, so I got a little uh, Persian lime. Oh, look at that. Barely got a lot of juice out of so you know what? Let's just put that skin in there. I got some beautiful grapefruit back. And yeah. Of course, we gotta do lemon. I mean, lemon and gin now. I, 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 I can't believe it. When I first started this whole journey, I, I, I never really liked lemon in my gin, but since making cocktails and there's lemon juice and so many cocktails <laughs> it just goes hand in hand um i did pick up some car 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 however you want to say it and they are so beautiful look at this one right here um for those of you that don't know they are um, a type of navel orange that was crossbred um to taste more like a grapefruit and a mandarin put together which sometimes when you get the the right kind of from the right purveyor and the right time of year yes it's exactly those notes other times i've tasted them and they taste exactly like just like an orange so i it, it's hard to it's hard to know when that's going to happen because every harvest is different when i lived down in florida i had to do that when i lived down in florida i remember there was um one of, my, one of my first uh, girlfriends, <laughs> her family had a house in one of the older communities. It was a beautiful old house, but it, you know, had trees on the property. And there was this fruit that grew on this tree. They're all citrus trees, but this one tree, maybe two, I don't remember. It grew, it grew <laughs> grapefruits this big, but the color of a line because they were crossbred and it's so cool like I didn't realize this before you I moved down there but people um, not not just people but like in nature itself there they, there's crossbred citrus ev everywhere I mean it's amazing because when you go to the store you know you see maybe three or four kinds especially if you're not in a um, area where there's a lot of uh, foreign international food or people <laughs> and uh, paper towel had to do it because uh, you know I have OCD and things need to be clean anyway um so yeah let's try this now with the uh, citrus added to it and see what happens so much better Okay, Let's see, that's why I need the paper towel. Okay, so, okay, with the addition of the citrus, it's like even more citrus popping, which I mean is to be expected, but 
I can taste in the gin itself that there has to be some citrus there. I mean, I think they just didn't, maybe the website that I, I did go on to Boulder's website, but I really did not get a lot of information. In fact, on Boulder's website, they don't even put juniper in as their botanical in the list, but they do say it's um, balanced well enough to let you know the juniper is in there, but they don't put it in their list. So it's like, hey guys, what are you doing? I mean, there's definitely juniper in here. I could 100% when I popped open, sorry, pulled open that bottle. Um, yeah, juniper was the first thing that smacked me in the face, which was great. I mean, but there was really nothing else. Hmm. Okay, so this is a very good gin. This is a very good beginner's gin. If you're a beginner out there and you're looking for something, um, kind of, kind of to dip your, your your feet into the gin pool, um, I would go with this. Um, really, for real. I mean, I would go with this. This is something that is nice enough, like I said, to drink neat, to have a sip, have a sipping gin. It's also beautiful in a cocktail, like a gin and tonic, and I'm sure when I play with it a little more than other cocktails, it's gonna it's gonna come up somewhere else, probably like a bee's knees or something. Um, we're doing a lot of spring forward uh, cocktails here in Gin Reviews, uh, Middle Tennessee. So, all right, well, I'm gonna let you guys go because I know if you're waiting, if you're still here at 17 minutes, you guys are rocking, and I appreciate it. Uh, but from me to you, to you to me, and everyone else out here in beautiful Middle Tennessee, huh? Um, I thank you. I really do. I thank you for your comments, your kind words, and if this is your first uh, gin and tonic and you're watching with me, uh, salute, and I hope you enjoy and you're not spinning it out all over your TV somewhere, or your phone. All right. Have a good night, a good day, a good afternoon, all that stuff. Ciao, 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 Bella. <laughs>